What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is KDK, Keel Dyken. And in today's video, I just wanted to give you guys an update about what's going on in the RetroPie community and what's going on with RetroPie. So as you guys know, um, I am beta testing a lot of the stuff for the Supreme Team. And just to let you guys know, I know a lot of people are out there saying that there are the cards or the, the single board computers, the Raspberry Pi 4 and the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, I'm sorry, 4 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte model are the same. There's a lot of uh, complications with it, is what I can say. Uh, it is first of all, foremost, not the same card. And before I really get in in depth into this um, conversation or just me monologuing, uh, this is a pre-recorded video. I'm just kind of going over some of the systems of Supreme. Uh, um, I'm sorry, yeah, Supreme Ultra. So it's not incumbent on anything I'm saying in this video. This is something I recorded some time ago uh, of the front ends. But anyway, so as you guys are aware, if you guys are following me on my Facebook pages, um, I did several tests today. Obviously, the first one you guys saw me live stream was the Sega Saturn test. I ran that through Emulation Station, and I believe there were some drastic improvements on that because most of the games would not run uh, through on an optimal rate on the Sega Dream, I'm sorry, not Sega Dreamcast, but Sega Saturn emulator on through Emulation Station. Um, I had had really good success running it on the 64-bit OS that runs in the background that you would have to turn it on, but uh, that wasn't happening today. Um, there were some changes made to it, which is not really a big deal, but that is a good thing that it was able to run a little bit more fluidly through Emulation Station. Uh, with that being said, so obviously I do a lot of my personal testing using the Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model because I have a few of those. And honestly, right now, those are more in abundant supply than the 8 gigabytes. I typically usually buy a lot of those. So in case I burn mines out or something happens, I quickly have a back out because you can't go on Amazon. You can't go to fries like you used to and just be able to grab one. So I had to get quite a few of them at Micro Center just to have them as a backup and do a lot of testing. Now, a lot of the devs in the community do not have the Raspberry Pi 4 gigabyte model. Some of them don't even have or have never even seen the 8 gigabyte model. So they can't test certain things. And if they did, they don't want to put themselves in a position to where they burn it out, something bad happens, and then we're stuck. We have no development. So if you guys are not familiar with the development of RetroPie, retro gaming in the community... Uh, most of this is done by hobbyists and people who are just doing this uh, on their own free time. So today I migrated the Supreme Ultra build over to the eight gigabyte. I mean, basically I just plug it in and it worked. Uh, that's actually what you guys saw me running today on the uh, on my Facebook page was the eight gigabyte model. And it works fine. It worked totally fine. Uh, the only thing is when I turned on the 64 bit OS running in the background, it created some issues and hiccups. And so um, I did turn it off. Um, it wouldn't run anymore. So I did have to turn it off because I wanted to give you guys an optimal test to see exactly what the Wii uh, emulator, Dolphin emulator would look like on the desktop, being able to see the full eight gigabytes. Now I know that the full eight gigabytes wouldn't have really made a performance difference, but I just wanted to see for my own curiosity, what it will look like being able to see the eight gigabytes because uh, previously, even though you could have ran the eight gigabytes, I know on Supreme Pro, it didn't see all eight gigabytes of memory on the Pixel desktop. So I wanted to go ahead and throw my hand at that and see what would happen. Well, that didn't happen or work accordingly because we are still testing it. And apparently there's something the Raspberry Pi, found, Raspberry Pi Foundation isn't telling the community. Um, yes, I know that the kernels are different, but there's something else about the Pi for 8 gigabyte model that we don't know. And unfortunately, because their software that they have on the device is encrypted, we can't see it. Nobody can see it. Nobody can really pinpoint what's going on. Some people are saying it may take a year to figure it out. Some people may say it may take six months. Nobody can really know because it's a guessing game. Uh, for example, a few days ago, I did a video and it came to our attention that the auto expand feature for USB uh, externals and SSDs were already built into the Raspberry Pi OS. I'm sorry, not the OS, 
but their uh, EEPROM update. So you don't have to have a separate script for that. So that was something that snuck in on the community. Some A lot of the devs didn't even know about it because that's a more or less trial and error type thing to figure out. So uh, after I switched from my eight gigabyte model today back to my Pi 4, uh, I had some hiccups and some freezes and stuff. Now, Supreme Ultra works fine. It is ready to go for the uh, Pi 4 4 gigabyte model. It does work for the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. But one of the things that we were, have been setting out to do to help the community was optimize it for both. And I can tell you right now, it's a pain in the butt because just activating that one feature threw everything off. And if you guys have been trying to play your images on the eight gigabyte model and you saw those green, um, some of you guys have maybe see it either, even, even with other images where you get that green screen effect where your splash screen videos and your load uh, videos are all turning green. That has something to do with however they coded the eight gigabyte model and with the EEPROM update or whatever the heck is going on. I can't actually pinpoint it. I've talked to a few of the devs. They don't actually know what's going on. But all I can really tell you guys is that there is a difference between the Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model and the 8 gigabyte model. So uh, Supreme Ultra is ready to go forward. And this video is really not so much about Supreme Ultra. It's more or less about the development about the Raspberry Pi and how intricate it is in the time that you know a lot of people spend in the community trying to figure it out to make the community a better place so uh i know a lot of you guys are out there buying the eight gigabyte model and that's fine and i know ultra is ready to go but i just wanted to give you guys that brief service announcement to let you guys know that even even with that being said there's still a lot of things that uh, are being looked into and that nobody really knows what the eight gigabyte model can do. It does have a different kernel. It does have different settings and it is not the same uh, SBC like the Pi 4, four gigabyte or two gigabyte model. Um, there are some different coding issues <laughs> uh, that are difficulties that we're still looking at. Um, the marquee obviously does work. Uh, that's one of the premier features of uh, Ultra. But even in the Raspberry Pi community, so there's a lot of work just being looked into that. So um, just wanted to keep you guys updated, keep you guys in the loop, let you guys know that's what happened with my test today was that it didn't go through as planned. And I just didn't want to slop something together and give you guys, you know, some hopes about what's going on with the Wii and running 64-bit OS. And I've ran 64-bit OSs before um, on the Raspberry Pi. You guys have actually seen that. But whatever's going on with the 8 gigabyte model, uh, it ain't happening because it froze my my Pi. I had to revert it back down, uh, turn it back, turn the 32-bit OS back on just so I can load it. And then when I put it back on the Pi 4 for a gigabyte model, it still caused freezing issues. So uh, all that's being looked at, a lot of that's going to be addressed. Um, that was only because of that. So I'm going to be fine because I'm reflashing the whole image and uh, with some other updates that have already been added. But uh, everything's fine in regards to that. So just wanted to let you guys know that's what's going on. We're striving to give you guys the best possible optimization for the gaming and Pi community and keep you guys up to date about what's going on. Uh, one of the things I personally love to do is let you guys know the uh, struggles that we have in the community and then also let you guys know the advancements. So remember, it was almost a year ago. Uh, it's almost a year ago when... Um, what was it? RetroPie Beta 1 or Beta 1 came out and I think Nostalgia did a video on it. And then, you know, everybody laughed at that. And then Beta 2 came out and then everybody decided to jump on the bandwagon and get a Pi 4. So, uh, yeah, you know, we go through these strides. We're here to make the, you know, things a better place for the community and help you guys, uh, you know, enjoy your emulation. So I just personally wanted to keep you guys up to date about what's going on here on the channel with the Raspberry Pi and uh, the advancements of it so uh stay tuned for some more information this is keel Dyken. you guys have a good evening and uh, stay tuned make sure you guys hit that bell notification button and also check my description i did add some new links from amazon with the uh, drive i was using the SATA drive so i hope that helps you guys out catch you guys next time you guys have a good night